Like the fact that you can use two knobs and get that range of piano sounds, I think is incredible. You can adjust the pedal noises and how much and little. You can adjust the mechanical noises. Today we are going to take a look at my very favorite piano virtual instrument, but it does a whole bunch of things. Not only is it the most realistic I've ever checked out, it's also the most versatile I've ever used. Now I paid for this with my own money and I've been using it for a long time now as well as everything else in this video. However, there will be links down below uh, to go check out more about this or pick up a version for yourself if you would like. So the piano is called Noir and it's by Native Instruments. I'm gonna screw some of this up, but it was Nils Fram's nine-foot concert grand piano. It's in a very famous room in Berlin, and it was meticulously recorded with, I think, over 50 microphones, something absolutely insane. So today we're gonna check out how it sounds. I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite settings. We're gonna dig into the crazy amount of in-depth uh, tweaking that you can do to this. You can hear all the felts and all the mechanicals, and you can adjust all of that stuff it's mind-blowing to me. As always, there'll be links down in the description to go check this out or pick up a version for yourself. Okay, let's check out what the piano sounds are like in this virtual instrument. Okay, so this is a song, a Christmas song that I just wrapped up for Dakota Danielle. Uh, I'll put her link down below if you wanna go check her out. This song, uh, the piano on this was played by Gabe Klein and I'll put him down below as well, links to his Instagram and whatnot. So let's take a look at the craziest features of this. Let me just give you a, a quick peek at like the basic piano sound. Uh, th so this is what we've settled for on this song. I'm just gonna play drums and piano here. So check it out. The coolest part about this, uh, one of the coolest parts about this, this piano was recorded with, uh, I don't remember, we're gonna talk about it in a second, something like 50 microphones. Between mixing and matching and processing all these microphones differently, they give you some really simple parameters to just tweak the sound in incredible ways. So for instance, we've got color here, tonal shift, uh, how dynamic it is, soft or hard dynamics, and then reverb and delay built right in. So let me just tweak these real quick and let you hear the range of tones that just these knobs have on the sound. that you can use two knobs and get that range of piano sounds, I think is incredible. But there is something that this piano does that I have never heard another piano virtual instrument do. Now I've not used every one of them, so maybe another one does it, but I've never heard this. So in a bunch of the different settings, you've got uh, a whole bunch of different like settings here for this piano, a whole bunch of different presets. But on some of them, uh, especially the more subtle ones, you actually can hear the mechanics in the piano, the felts, the hammers. You can hear all the mechanical elements in the piano. Check this out. you can hear the mechanics inside the piano opening and closing and hitting and shuffling around. That's so crazy to me. Now I'm just gonna show you some other examples here and then we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this. But you also get into some sound design stuff. So here is, this is a preset called Resonant Metal. Uh, and this is under, I believe this is under the sound design preset library. Super, 
super cool. And uh, another one, this is called Cloud. Uh, this is another pretty neat one. That's a loud one. And so you can stack these together. Like if you put the original piano that I had on top of this. I just think that this is the, it's still going. <laughs> I think that this is one of the best sounding piano virtual instruments I've ever had. So let me just walk you through some of just the presets uh, in this and take a listen to them. so good. And then you have the whole other library here that's called Noor Felt. Let's take a listen to that. Every time I use this piano plugin, every time I'm completely blown away by it. So then over here on the Noir felt side of things, you again have a whole host of presets to go through that's based around like the softer, feltier side of the piano. Okay, so let's dive in and get a little bit nerdy here and, and see how far into this we can tweak this piano, because it's pretty insane. Okay, so let's dig into the effects of Noir a little bit more. So here is just the basic piano sound right here. That's just the basic piano sound when you first start it up. Now, you can open this up and you can start getting into all kinds of crazy stuff. You can adjust the pedal noises. And how much and little. You can adjust the mechanical noises. And then you can even dig into like high passing them on each one of these, which is just absolutely nuts. You can dig into the felts. So what you can really do is you can adjust all of the mechanicals if you want here. Which, man, that's just insane to me. Uh, so you can turn these on and off. You can also adjust the tonality here. Another adjustability there. You can also adjust the sub. And that is a wonderful sounding low end. You can adjust uh, the pedals and the tuning and of course the attack and all of that kind of stuff. And then you get over here to the actual effects. So you can adjust with EQ, this sort of stuff with the noises. compress it. You can have different types of compression, different compression presets. Uh, you've got a stereo image width. You can get different noises, tape noises if you would like. So much. So then you get over here to the particles engine, and this is kind of insane as well.
You can adjust the time of them. You can adjust the, the type of it that it is. You can adjust how much of this you'd like the blend between the particles and the piano. You can adjust density and variation and decay and timber. Attack. You can adjust how it sounds. Completely nuts, honestly. And then you get over here to the actual reverbs and you have different diffusion. going on that. Some reverbs, I mean, it's just absolutely insane how many things you can tweak on this piano. Okay, so Complete 14 from Native Instruments just got released. Here's a couple of the new things in Complete 14. You got 40s drums, action strings, you got a whole bunch of Brainwork stuff, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. Uh, the console in is great. The peak limiter is great. I'm really curious to try out this focus right. And then you just have so many different things that have been added, not including what used to come with it but so many things that have been added. Melted Vibes looks really cool. You've got Ozone 10 included in here. Uh, just a lot of really interesting stuff and a whole bunch of expansions for your sound libraries as well. So here's just some of the stuff included in Complete 14. Now I have Complete 14 Ultra, the Collector's Edition, which is the biggest one. Uh, and I've had a bunch of this stuff for a long time. Action Strings is incredible. Uh, I'm really curious to try out this Piano Colors, and I'm really curious to try out the different strings. Action Strikes is very, very cool. There's just so many things. Kinetic Metal is really neat. There's a whole bunch of soft synths, different synthesizers included in this. Super 8 is something that I've had for a long time. It's been a really staple of mine in my productions since the day that it came out. And of course, Massive. Who doesn't have Massive? I've been using Monarch forever. You've got Alicia's Keys in here, the piano. Here is Noir, my favorite piano out there. Whole bunch of different like sound design stuff, which is very, very cool. Ethereal Earth, I've been using this a lot for years since that came out as well. Uh, and also Analog Dreams is very, very cool. And I've been using that since it came out as well. Battery 4 is included. I've been using Battery 4 since it came out. <laughs> I'm just, if you guys can't tell, I've been using a a lot of this stuff for a long time and I paid for this stuff with my own money many many years ago some of it not so long ago but I paid for all of this with my own money again links down below to pick this up or to pick up complete from Native Instruments if you would like I cannot highly recommend this piano enough it has been the piano that has been in every one of my productions since I got it I'm really using this in all the songs that I work on that has piano in it and I have been I think since it came out I've had it for quite a while now. So links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.